Ahoy Pirates! This is a guide to dog sledding in Japan Hokkaido. I hear dog sledding in Japan is a must-do in winter. And yes it is! This video will give you a full tour on how to book your adventure with prices. I will show you later in the video how to get there and where to book it. There are multiple options to experience dog sledding in Japan. From hotel resort activities to commercial one-day trips and more. I decided for a married couple running a small business. Kyoko and Dan are very professional and passionate about their dogs. Their lifestyle is something special. Living for over 20 years in a house on Hokkaido, next to their dogs and enjoying nature life. Such an incredible ikigai. The dog sledding season is usually from the beginning of December until the beginning of March depending on the snow conditions. In the summertime, they run a campground. You can get there either by car or take the bus. See the maps link in the description. The bus departs from Ashiakawa station at bus stop number three to Takasu. I hope I pronounced that right. Get off at the last bus stop in Takasu and Kyoko is coming to pick you up with her van. Google Maps with public transportation works very well with this bus line. When you arrive, you get a warm welcome from the dogs. You can already see how excited they are. <laughs> First, you will have time to say hello to all the doggies. And get an introduction inside a little warm cabin about how to dog sled. You will also get dressed up if you forgot to bring the right gear. The couple is very patient and will answer all your questions. They select the dogs for the sled by their name tags. You will learn how to brake and also how to release it. I thought the takeoff was the most fun because you feel how excited the dogs are and how much power they have. You will receive video material from the camera facing you and the dogs as well as pictures some days later via email. The full package costs 16,000 yen. This includes pickup and drop-off transportation, photos and videos, snow gear, dog sledding and feeding the dogs. Depending on how many people dog sled you get a discount on the price. Please be aware there is a weight limit of a maximum of 85 kg per person. The people will take turns. Of course, the dogs have peeing and pooping breaks in between. <laughs> Did you know laying in the snow is how the dogs cool down? If you just want to observe and sit in a sledge of the snowmobile, the ride costs 3000 yen. It's super fun to watch the scenery from a different perspective. After the dog sledding, there is time to say thank you and feed the dogs. And of course the aftercare with cuddles.
Dan told me when people lose stuff while dog sledding, sometimes the crows will bring it back. Well, or steal their car keys. When you take the late tour, you can see a beautiful sunset and the Inos will look golden. Shred the like button for these cuties. I went at the beginning of March and the snow started to melt. You can book via their website, Facebook or call them. I communicated with them over email. Please find the links in the description. Then it was time to say goodbye to Kyoko, Dan and the dogs. We had a fun bumpy sunset ride home with enjoyable jazz music and even saw the full moon. My next videos will be about things to do in Hokkaido and springtime in Japan. This was the guide for dog sledding in Japan Hokkaido. If this video is helpful for you, a subscribe would mean the world to me in finding my real audience. And check out the Ikigai merch. See you in the next one. Cheers and live your Ikigai!